They say you have to choose. But I never saw it that way. From the moment I picked up a glove, I knew I wanted to play at the highest level. And from the moment I discovered mechanical engineering, I knew I wanted to push my mind just as hard. The 5 a.m. lifts, the late night lab sessions. Yeah, it's tough. It takes discipline, sacrifice, and a love for both worlds. Being an athlete makes me a better engineer, and being an engineer makes me a better athlete. To every young girl out there who's ever been told she has to choose, you don't. Because if there's one thing this game has taught me, it's that limits only exist if you let them. I think it's always challenging to balance school and sports. Some people go really hard into one and sometimes it feels like people are trying to put you in the box of you're an athlete or you're an academic. I've been really fortunate to attend two universities where people want to be good at everything they do. And I chose Notre Dame because it really offers you the opportunity to get the best of both the academic and athletic worlds. I actually had the opportunity to create my relationship with Alexis when I was recruiting her. It was like instant that you knew Alexis was gonna to come to Notre Dame and be a great fit at Notre Dame. Alexis just gets it done. She knows the game of softball. She knows the game of life. I think she translates that very well. When I would have conversations with her through the recruiting process, I mean, the kid's building a computer one night. She's writing a thesis on this another night. You know, I mean, we kind of sold her on the fact that, hey, you're gonna come here. You're gonna get a great culture. And at the same time, you're going to get this master's degree from Notre Dame. And now you're going to be walking around in life with a Princeton undergrad and a master's from the University of Notre Dame. It was a win-win for Notre Dame and for Alexis. My undergrad education is in mechanical and aerospace engineering. I chose that in part because it sounds cool, but also because I thought that was clear as path to getting to work on rockets that go to space and satellites. In grad school, I've chosen to focus on robotics because robotics is a new field. It incorporates electrical engineering. It incorporates coding. It also incorporates mechanical engineering design. You get to rotate between writing code and then testing it on a robot that you've built. My dad being an engineer had a huge impact on me becoming an engineer. Anytime he was driving me to softball, we'd be talking in the car and he would always be explaining to me how things worked and wanting me to understand and be curious in the world and figure out why things are the way they are. Growing up, uh, Alexis was very active. But she was also doing a lot with her hands. She liked to make things. She was constantly uh, knitting something or drawing something or stapling things together. It's hard to call a kid an engineer when they're very young because you don't know what they're interested in. Uh, but she liked all her science classes, liked math, really excelled in these things, and early had some aspirations to do something technical and was interested in uh, being an astronaut. When I was 10 years old, they took us, my family, to the Kennedy Space Center, and that was when I was exposed to space exploration, and we watched an amazing documentary on astronauts. It was great to see all the problem solving that they go through, and they like being the best in what they do, and so that tapped into everything I already felt inside of myself, and I thought, that is what I want to do. The next generation, you don't know if it's going to have the same impact. So you go to someplace like Kennedy with your kids, and it's really magical to see them actually be interested, uh, ask interesting questions about it. At the time, I don't know if it seemed like a big deal to me, but uh, we met a live astronaut, and uh, that seemed like a big deal to Alexis. She was excited to see the vehicles. She was excited to see the spacesuits. I think that was, if not formative for her, um, definitely accelerated her feelings about the program. We are currently in the Iris Laboratory in the basement of Fitzpatrick Hall, and we are looking at my Vine robot. This main body part right here is the Vine robot, and as you can see, there are a lot of sensors and fun things along it that relates to my project. My project has to do with rubble sites when buildings collapse, and when you're underground, you can't use GPS. So then the question is, if you have a camera that can go in and find people, how do you figure out where the camera is without GPS? And so, if you know where the end of the Vine robot is, and you can map a shape to get to the camera, then you can know where the camera is. And that's what all my sensors are helping me do. I learned about soft robotics through a class I took last spring with my advisor, Margaret Code. She is such a great person and has really shown me that there are a lot of areas of soft robotics that can help people. And that was ultimately what made me interested in this crib. So right now we're retracting. The Vine robot's growing inwards. This is part of how Vine robots grow. They fold inside themselves. You can also grow out this way. And so what's cool is when you grow from the end, 
everything over here stays stationary. And so if you're in a rubble site where the zones are really fragile, this is nice because it won't disturb any of the rubble. This project has been really special to me. It's probably the project I'm most proud of in my entire life. <laughs> it's gonna continue when I'm gone and I'm really excited because maybe in a couple years it will actually be used when it's needed. Alexis joined the Iris Lab back in the fall and she's been working in the lab all year. She's done a good job of learning what is the current state of the art in the technology she's working with and then uh, figuring out what's the right way to ask and answer questions about that technology. I currently have four graduate students who are doing research with me and they happen to be all women. Personally, I, I've always looked up to strong female mentors in my life as well. My own PhD advisor was a woman. I definitely am lucky here in my lab. I was one of a handful in my undergrad education and even in grad school and just beyond in the work world, there are only always gonna be a handful of women that are engineers. And so I'm really grateful here that I get to be around so many on a day-to-day -day basis. Engineering is hard all by itself. A video like this is certainly helpful just showing an example. Here's someone else who's done it. It's possible. Knowing that it's possible matters. I think when a college sports career ends, it never really leaves you. It will forever be in my heart and shape the way I go about my work life and my relationships and the discipline that I hold myself accountable to. We realize that softball, it's not a professional sport where they're gonna go out and make a living off of that. We want them to love their sport and come in here and compete at the highest level. But at the end of the day, what they get from Notre Dame is that education piece that they're gonna be able to take out in the world and get a great job. We empower them to know that they are going to be the boss of the people that we're playing. And that's kind of an, an exciting thing because I think at Notre Dame, you are different, right? And we tell them that all the time, like they're special, they're different. And so why would I not be encouraging of all of them to be able to get the opportunities that they need off the field so that I can help them with the rest of their life? I love that Notre Dame has so many of the same core values as a university that me and many people like me have. And it really is just a great place to come and try to be the best at everything you do. When my time at Notre Dame is done, I hope that my teammates and coaches see me as someone who gave their all, someone who was a good teammate, and someone who was a good person. The same is true on the engineering standpoint. Above all, was just someone pleasant to see on a day-to-day -day basis and hopefully made their day a little bit better when people leave the lab.